Good evening, everyone. Thank you very much for attending today. We have a very special event for you. Uh, my name is Jonathan Kushner. I'm a partner with Craig Gavin Anderson, a strategic communications and public affairs consulting firm in town. And uh, for the Chamber of American Chamber of Commerce, I'm the co-chair of the Tohoku Revitalization Task Force. Today's event um, is sponsored by the ACCJ, but we're working in cooperation with a number of foreign chambers of commerce. We have representatives today uh, from the Canadian Chamber, the French Chamber, the Finnish Chamber, and the Australian New Zealand Chamber of Commerce, and I want to thank all of our special guests here today uh, for this event. This is a bit of a carry-on event from some previous collaboration that we've had uh, on the Tohoku um, uh, topic. Uh, earlier this year, we, together with the Foreign Chambers of Commerce, uh, ran a survey, a pulse survey, uh, to look at how attitudes had changed among foreigners and Japanese business community over a course of two months following the earthquake. Uh, and we continue to uh, cooperate for additional surveys and other information as Japan, uh, now almost seven months on after the quake, is trying desperately to recover uh, both in terms of the Tohoku region as well as the greater Tokyo region, uh, getting back to business. Since the earthquake, tsunami, and the ensuing nuclear disasters, we've all been receiving various accounts of the dangers of radiation. Different experts have very different views on radiation, and that has often led to tremendous confusion among the public who don't really understand the technicalities and really know what to believe. Tonight, we have two nuclear experts um, brought together by core beliefs on matters dealing with radiation, and they're going to give a special address to you about radiation and food. Um, we will introduce both of the speakers in more detail in just a moment. Um, we have Professor Wade Allison, who's a fellow of Kebo College from the University of Oxford, and Professor Akira Tokuhiro, who's a professor of nuclear and mechanical engineering at the University of Idaho. The two speakers have ac actually never met until just this past weekend when they flew out to Japan and immediately uh, went up to Fukushima to see for themselves what had happened. They're going to discuss uh, what they saw and highlight issues related to food and radiation and spend some time showing us what radiation is and how it works in the human body. Their backgrounds and styles are somewhat different, but their core messages are the same. After introducing themselves briefly, um, they will spend some time sharing their views. Following that, we have a very special commentary today uh, from, from Shikata-san, Noriyuki Shikata, from the uh, Cabinet Office. And he will uh, also be introduced further by uh, just a moment by uh, the ACCJ President, Mike Alphon. Before we start, I want, just want to extend a special thanks to one person uh, in the, the first row over here, David Wagner, who spent months working with both professors uh, to coordinate their trip here. David has been instrumental in setting up a site on Facebook uh, in August, which is called Japan Food Safety. And in less than two months, I understand, he has close to half a million views uh, on, the, on the posts on the site. David, thank you very much. And sticking with the theme of social media as well, I'd like to uh, just announce that today uh, we do have wireless in the building. So if your phones are not working, there is wireless. You can just join as tech, tech member is the wireless. And we will be uh, tweeting. Those of you who are tweeting uh, about the event, please use the hashtag ACCJTohoku. Thank you very much. Um, without further ado, I do want to introduce Mike Alfont, the president of the ACCJ to further introduce our speakers. Thank you. Thank you, John, and good afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much for attending today. I think this will be a, a very informative and interesting program. Let me try to do justice to the credentials of our panel by going through a very, very brief introduction. Uh, I will leave out much of the material. Uh, they're both, uh, or everyone at the panel is so distinguished that a full introduction would probably take most of the evening. Uh, let me start off with Professor Tokohiro. 
Uh, Akira Tokohiro is a professor of mechanical and nuclear engineering at the University of Idaho and director of the Nuclear Engineering Graduate Program. Dr. Tokohiro has a PhD in nuclear engineering from Purdue University, uh, MS in mechanical engineering from University of Rochester, and a BSc in engineering physics from Purdue, uh, followed by 10 years of international experience in advanced reactor R&D in Switzerland and in Japan, as well as experience at Argonne National Laboratory and Battelle Columbus Laboratories. He was previously on the mechanical and nuclear engineering faculty at Kansas State University and University of Missouri Rolla. He was also director of the UMR reactor and senior reactor operator. His broad interests are in nuclear reactor engineering and design. To date, he has 110 plus archival journal and conference papers and now about 30 graduates from the program. Uh, he was born in Tokyo, Japan. He'll be our first speaker today. Uh, following Tokihiro Sensei, uh, Professor Wade Allison will give us his views. Uh, Professor Allison is the Emeritus Professor of Physics at the University of Oxford. Uh, he has taught and lectured widely in physics and mathematics over the previous 40 years. His research field has been in particle physics, but in the previous 15 years, his studies have concentrated on nuclear and medical physics. He has never had any links to or involvement with the nuclear industry. In 2006, he published an advanced textbook titled Fundamental Physics for Probing and Imaging. In 2009, Dr. Allison published an explanatory account of the science of nuclear radiation and mankind's reaction to it titled Radiation and Reason, The Impact of Science on a Culture of Fear. Since Fukushima, Kindle and Japanese editions have been published as well. He is also an Emeritus Fellow of Keeble College, Oxford. Lastly, we're very fortunate to have commentary um, from Shikata-san. Uh, Shikata-san is a Deputy Cabinet Secretary for Public Relations, Director of Global Communications, Prime Minister's Office. So again, thank you all for attending. Uh, thank you especially to John Kushner and Jay Ponizeki, the co-chairs of the Tohoku Revitalization Task Force for putting this event together, uh, and I hope everyone enjoys it.